sorting school designs decorated their helmets. Even their leather combat boots look delicious with their iron cleats, great for marching through mud or stomping on pages. Compare the legionnaires, like a line of giant dominoes, to their red and gold shield, shields, each the size of a refrigerator door. Every legionnaire carried a harpoon like spear called the thorn, a gladius, a dagger, and about a hundred pounds of other women. If you were out of shape and you came to the legion, you didn't stay that way for long. Just walking around your arm with a whole lot of workout. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my book talk. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Have you ever lived with a pack of wolves for two months? Mm -hmm. Yeah, by grass. Mm -hmm. And have you ever carried a heavy bag lady across the magic river? Yep. Mm -hmm. I highly doubt you have. All of these things throughout the characters. In this book, it's a tattoo, which was written by Rick Ryan, and he spent days on end creating this extraordinary fantasy world. This is the title page, and it's written by Rick Ryan. This is the prophecy that starts this entire series. This is a series of four books so far, and the prophecy says. Seven half blood sons have called to storm and fire the world must fall, and oath to keep with a final breath, and foes their arms to the door to death. Yes. Okay, summary. Each book has a specific prophecy. This is a prophecy that is given to these three characters. Go to Alaska, find Jacobus and freak him, come back by sundown on June 24th, or die. That's a very interesting well. prophecy. Thanks. It's so lovely. <laughs> Percy Jackson, our old friend from the previous series, wakes up with absolutely no clue who he is or where he is. He only remembers one thing, Annabeth. That's the only word he knows. He is raised by a pack of wolves for about two months, and then somewhere to a Roman camp called Jupiter. He makes several new friends and also some foes. Two of his new friends are Hazel and Frank, which we'll learn about later. And soon after he arrives at Camp Jupiter, he's given a quest by the war god Ares himself. And his mission is to go find Phantos, the god, the, the god of death. And at the same time, defeat the giant Aglaeolus, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and who is the opposite of Pluto. Yes, Brian? Oh, um, another question. Um, oh. Is, isn't Ares from the Percy Jackson and the Lincoln series? Yes. Isn't Ares Clarissa's father, maybe? Yes. And, 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 and Rome is called Mars. Yeah. Mars. So they call them Mars. Okay, there's three main characters, Percy, Hazel, and Frank. Percy Jackson, this is Percy, um, he's been in a series before this, he is most likely the main character. Um, he wakes up with absolutely no memory of his past, and he only remembers Annabeth, and he struggles to remember his past at the same time trying to help his friends. And he has trouble fitting in at the camp because they think he's an enemy. They think he's trying to spy on them. Because the Romans aren't quite in touch with the Greeks. And he looks like a Greek. Next. Yes. Next is Hazel and Lacey. I'm not sure if you've not seen that right either. But Hazel has a very interesting past. She's actually come back to life um, by her brother, by her brother Nico D'Angelo. And she, and the, in her past, she went through several hardships and even almost raised up a monster, if you can call him. And she has she's struggling right now to keep her secret contained because she doesn't want to be kicked out of the legion. Next. Next is Frank Zane. Frank Zane is a small guy with a big gift. Well, more like a big guy with a big gift. He has the body of a football player and the face of a teddy bear, is how he's described in the book. And um, his secret is, he struggles to find out his secret by his grandmother. He keeps on giving him hits, but he can never put them together. When he finally does, he realizes that his secret can completely change the mission and help them in a great way. Um, these are all, there's other main characters in the book, like Raina. She is the, she's the leader of the Legion, Camp Jupiter. And then there's Elva Harvey, who we will meet later in the book. Very interesting person. And Octavia, who is interesting too, in a weird way, um, he is, in the Roman camp they don't have prophecies. Their prophecies are given by, um, by like, an actual person. Octavian sacrifices teddy bears 
to find out the prophecies. And this is Thetos, the god of death. Um, good thing the author did. Ray Dryden is one of my absolute favorite authors. I love his books. And I love them because he, used, he uses a lot of suspense in each of his books, especially this one. There's always a cliffhanger. There's always something to look forward to. He also added some romance. As I said, Percy Jackson only remembers one name. And he has a feeling that Anna Beth was his old girlfriend, but he can't know for sure. And there are secrets everywhere. Hazel's secret. Percy doesn't know what's happening. It's very intense. And the adventure in this book has absolutely no end. And this is the author, Rick Ryan. Next. Okay. This is the video that I think of.